Hey guys, what's up? Bisector Tron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next live on War Day video. And uh, as you can see, we're going against Barbarian Party, I believe a clash with Cam Clan. So, uh, fun stuff there. We should be having some uh, people go in and attack pretty shortly. So, uh, I'm just going to hang out and uh, wait for someone to go. In. Oh, looks like. Alright, we have Anthony right here. And uh, he. Looks like he's bringing a Govaho. Um, uh, no jumps, but uh, that's something we've been seeing lately. Not using jumps or quakes, just letting the Valks kind of make their way through the base on their own. It's already kind of hard to predict where they're going to go. So oftentimes, uh, you don't need to bring the jump or the quake. It won't be effective, and uh, they can get through walls pretty easily because uh, they do a lot of damage, and especially in big groups, only like a few swings from all the Valks and uh, they can get through even these high level walls. So it comes in here for the sea sealer. Not sure the balloon, uh, what that purpose was. Maybe it was trying to get that wizard tower, but didn't quite get it. Or maybe, I think he might have taken out a mortar. I might have missed that, yeah. So it gets the sea sealer, it's a golem, uh, pretty standard to defend against Valks. People have been doing that. Drops down the rage, that's good. He needs that for the golem and two point defense. Uh, so hopefully that'll be enough to get through the golem. Comes in with these wall breakers. I uh, love how the wall breakers get the value of the rage, so it uh, works out nicely, gets to the wall pretty easily, and uh, you can see that giant's out in front doing a little bit of tanking, I guess just for that mortar, but uh, the queen should shoot down that expo, and she should be okay on health uh, as soon as that expo goes down, then she'll go on to that archer tower, so liking the queen walk so far, not sure where he's going to start things, only has a minute 45 left, um, not too big of a deal, but should start on, yeah, there, yeah, there he goes, starting in with the king. I'm guessing he's going to have some Valks in the CC. Uh, yep, there they go. Uh, then he's going to drop his own. Everything's going great. And that Wizard Tower is up, but I think they should just continue the way he wants them to go. I'm sure he wants them to keep going uh, towards the King and the Queen compartment. Oh, looks like, actually, no, they're going to go for the other wall. I'm not sure how many Teslas are in that compartment. You can see the Queen's gotten great value, uh, but she's going to be landlocked in a moment. And, uh, yep, everything's back on track. They're making their way through. Uh, that's great. They'll get that Tesla farm taken out. He does have nine hogs, but this, his kill squad might just take out this entire base. Uh, the king kind of got weird and went around, uh, to the CC, but no big deal. Has the Valks going in. Nice poison on the, uh, defensive heroes. Few hogs just, uh, on these defenses that are distracted. So great value for them. Uh, Right now, the defenses are turning around and shooting them. And then a few more hogs uh, coming in on, on these bottom defenses. Great attack, though. Love it. I think he'll have plenty of time. And, uh, yeah, he'll just get these minions down. It looks like there's no corner stuff besides just at the bottom there. So, uh, 30 seconds. Might be a little bit tight here, but you can see the queen's going to get through that wall. She'll get the uh, Dark Elixir drill, that army camp, that stuff. Yeah, he has plenty of time to get the job done. Ton of hogs, ton of valks. Uh, wizards, everything. We'll go ahead and give him uh, the Wu Train and uh, yeah, awesome attack by Anthony. Way to get the three star in a very, what should be a very close arranged war, um, which unfortunately I'm not in because uh, we had to, oh, I guess I'll talk later. We got Fahim uh, going, oh, okay, he went in. That was kind of sneaky. He timed it, so I wasn't able to get him either. Uh, not sure if that was intentional, but uh, Looks like it was a good attack to Fahim, and uh, I'm not going to rewind it and watch it again, because you guys already know what happened. It's a three-star. Sometimes I do, but I'm not going to uh, this time. I want to focus on only uh, live attacks, because that's what this video is all about. So good attack to Fahim, and a good attack to Anthony, the one we saw. Uh, but anyway, uh, like I said, in this war, uh, we had to drop one of our 9.5s, because we weren't matching. Uh, the weights were a little bit off, and I was the one that was dropped. So unfortunately, I'm not in this war, but that just leaves me more time to record and uh, show some of the awesome attacks by my clanmates. So I'll be back with some more live action. Not sure when, but I will. So anyway, stick around. I'll see you guys in just a bit. Okay, here we go. Looks like we got Rigo going in live. Uh, taking on number 14. A little bit later in the war, this is the next day, uh, this morning that I'm... Uh, recording these attacks, but um, I'll let you guys see how the war is going as soon as this one is over. It uh, looks like he's doing a queen walk with some Valks, pretty standard stuff, uh, a few balloons, and then a few hogs, but uh, not a whole lot of defensive targeting troops, so mainly just going to try to overpower this base. 
Uh, but, you know, Max Town Hall 9, besides the heroes, obviously. And uh, Rigo has the Max Queen, but only the 26 King. Uh, looks like the Queen Walk's going okay. Three-point defense on her, so she's getting a little bit low. Uh, but here, back to one-point defense. She'll uh, be able to recover a little bit. That nice little hog right there. It's going to tank for the Archer Tower and do some damage to the cannon. Actually take it out, so pretty good trade there. Uh, the air defense gets a few shots on the healers, but I don't think it takes any of them out. Goes in, easy C sealer, a bunch of minions. Should get that poison down early. Then he won't have to use a rage or anything if he gets it down quick enough. Uh, the minions kind of did a little... Uh, not sure why they went out for a second, but uh, they go down before the queen really gets too uh, low. So she'll continue moving forward as soon as she get through, gets through the wall. Probably take out the king. Uh, but down to about a minute 40, so it uh, should be about time to start the king, the Valks. Uh, you can see he... I'm not sure what happened with the funnel up there, but the Valks are kind of going in in a little bit of a uh, zigzag motion, but they're all going to meet up right in the middle there with for those wall breakers, uh, so everything works out there. The queen just took out the king, and she'll take out those last few minions that didn't get lured out. Uh, right there, the Valks beat through the wall. They're going to... still has all four of his spells, actually, because uh, more and more I've been seeing people not bringing jumps or quakes, just letting the Valks go through the wall on their own, uh, but right here, that might not pay off because the Valks are going the wrong way. Uh, you can see that the one group of Valks beat through the wall. They're going all the way out to the uh, gold mine. But they should come back in right here because there's nothing else for them to go to. But uh, towards the queen in that uh, far right compartment. So you can see they just beat through the wall. They'll continue moving forward. Still has all four spells, but he needs to hurry up a little bit because he's down to 50 seconds. Uh, has a ton of troops, obviously, but needs to start getting some minions down for cleanup. Uh, actually doesn't have any minions, just uh, a balloon it looks like, that's all he has left. So this is going to be tight on time. The healers went on to the king, uh, so the queen's on her own, pops the ability, but she's going to get landlocked pretty quick, she'll probably go down, or not, maybe not. The hogs are making their way through, has that heal for them, and uh, <clears throat> the Valks, I mean he has a ton of troops up, it's just 20 seconds. A minion would have been really nice there because the cannon can't target it. But I think he's still going to get this because the king is moving really quickly under the ability. Um, still has that one heal. Yeah, this will be a three-star. Awesome attack. Has a ton of troops left up if you zoom in. A uh, ton of valves, the king, the queen, uh, the healers, just everything. A little bit tight on time, but no big deal. Got the three stars. Go ahead and back out. Make sure nothing else is going in. Uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and start the or continue the train. Um, awesome attack by uh, Rigo, getting the three, and uh, yeah, you can see in this war, uh, probably two-thirds of the way through, and it's pretty close. We've used six more attacks, and we have uh, 13 more stars to show for it, but it could go either way, and uh, we're just going to start getting it to some of the Town Hall 10, Town Hall 11 attacks uh, a little bit later, but uh, anyway, I should be back with at least one more attack, hopefully a few more, depending on how it goes, so stick around. I'll be right back. All right, here we go. <clears throat> we got Tornado Top Hat going in and uh, taking on 16. Another Valk attack queued up. Kind of an interesting base here. Has the uh, army camps in the middle. Uh, kind of reminds me of like way back when uh, in farming attacks, if you destroyed someone's army camps, all the troops in them would destroy it also. Uh, so just kind of reminds me of that whenever I see this kind of base. But uh, it's obviously just in there to create some dead space and uh, make the base a little bigger, help spread stuff out. Uh, but uh, Tornado Top Hat's coming in with a uh, Queen Walk, does a nice job funneling, funneling the Queen, uh, gets the Sea Sealer as well with that one hog, uh, so it works out nicely there. The Queen's gonna start heading north. Uh, that air defense should be out of range. It might be a little close though. I, I don't know, it, it, we'll see how that ends up working. Uh, but the Valks are running out with some Goblins, gonna need to pop the Queen's ability. Uh, the Valks can do quite a bit of damage to a Queen on a Queen Walk. And uh, right there, she'll shoot them down. <clears throat> Drops a few wall breakers, and yeah, I'm thinking those healers are going to go down, unfortunately. Yeah, right there. Uh, but the queen did kind of walk south a little bit, so she might get onto that air defense pretty soon. Needs to drop the rage, though. Uh, or actually, maybe not. The queen, the healers went out of range. Queen is still up. Didn't actually need that rage, maybe. Uh, although the, the air sweeper is there, so I guess that makes sense. Uh, comes in at the bottom here. Looks like he created a little bit of a funnel. And then the Valks, the, uh, the king... Everything moving forward. Once again, no jump. We've been seeing that a lot lately. Uh, drops down that wizard because he knows things might try to run around. And yep, there goes the king. He's going to go walking. Uh, so that's unfortunate. But a few Valks are at least going through. 
uh, still has 15 hogs, but uh, there's quite a few potential double giant bomb spots. Uh, specifically, there's that one by the Expo, which is a possibility. And the Valks are getting thinned out pretty quickly. Uh, has the King and a Wizard behind him, but the Valks just got roasted by that Tesla farm. So they will go down. Uh, the Queen still moving forward. I think she has all but one of her healers. Here come the Hogs. Uh, probably not going to be a double giant bomb set in that area, but they do still have to deal with the Tesla farm and uh, a few more defenses besides that. Uh, but right there, they're just moving along. No giant bombs. They're looking good. This could be a three-star except for time, I think, is the main thing. He needs to get down that wizard for cleanup. Uh, yeah, yeah, there it goes up top. Good placement on it and good placement on the heal. The hogs are going to move through. The only concern is that the hogs will hit a double giant bomb set right there. I'm pretty sure there's going to be one there because I haven't seen a whole lot of explosions going off. Yep, there it is. Uh, those hogs are going to be toast for the most part, especially with that wizard tower there. Uh, so it's just up to the queen and that one wizard. And uh, not going to be enough time for this one. The wizard can't get through all that HP in just 25 seconds. So it looks like it's going to be a close one, but uh, not quite. The queen might not even get those storages anyway. So uh, we'll go ahead and give him a nice try. Uh, it was a good plan. I think just uh, you can see if the Valks had gone into the middle there and uh, gotten the Tesla farm, it might have helped out a little bit. That way he could have used a few hogs uh, for the double giant bomb set. And I think one thing even regardless of that, that you can kind of learn from this is that always save a few hogs because he didn't need that huge group of hogs to take out the few defenses at the top or the test the farm. Uh, he could have saved a few to try to trigger one of those giant bombs uh, before the main group got to that uh, double set and that might have saved the attack. But anyway, it was a good plan. Almost worked out. Uh, yeah, it's unfortunate. But anyway, uh, I'll go ahead and hang out and see if I can get some more attacks. Uh, be right back. All right, guys, I'm going to actually go ahead and have to wrap it up right here. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed what you saw, but uh, I want to go ahead and get the Q&A started, and it's going to be tough because I have to take a break, and it's always hard to record some of the uh, last bit of attacks because there's so many people on, and they know when other people are attacking. But anyway, uh, you'll see more of these types of videos and probably some more Town Hall 10 live action at that. So uh, sorry about this. Only going to show the three. Uh, Town Hall 9 attacks, but hope you guys liked the video. Let me know if you did and like I said I'm getting started on the Q&A and also the results for the new series Which should be fun and something that you'll see on the channel pretty soon. So thanks for watching this one I'll see you guys later. Bye Sectatron out